What is up, my puffer people? If I can, your puffer pal, back with another video. Um, today I'm going to guys our week three battle in the CSL. Again, tell you the person who runs the league, the creator of the league. Uh, Top of Oreo, used to go by Claire Cutlers. He is lit. Please check out his channel. I'm probably going to leave it in the, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below to his channel. It's Top of Oreo, obviously. Um, he's also uploading this league, um. Definitely check him out. He's awesome. His videos are fun. He's cool. Um, basically, though, a little backstory on this battle. I was in Disney the week that we were supposed to do this, right? So I said, um, there are two things we could do. I'll either take the forfeit because I'm kind of too busy to build or play, or we could postpone it till next week, which I'm also pretty busy, but I could probably battle Wednesday or Thursday because I have finals in school and stuff right now, and I'm just so busy. But... So he said, um, next week I can't really do it, so I might, I think we just have to do, I'll take the forfeit win. But I felt bad doing that to you guys, you know, I don't want to give you guys no game. So, I, ri I just ran on my phone, built a team in like five minutes, didn't really even look at his team, I just built a team, kind of. I don't even remember the team, to be fair. And I'm like, okay, um, you can you battle right now? And he's like, oh yeah, sure. So, I, and I, I really didn't have time to battle. I was in Disney when we battled this, like, in the park. So, I was like, frick, um, okay, let's just... So, I had to, like, battle during dinner, like, while I was eating, and it, yeah, it was all just complicated. So, if I play bad or my sets aren't great, you kind of understand why. It's no excuse, but, uh, you know. So, I'm gonna just go through it. Okay, so I lead BGL. I decided to just U-turn, because I'm like, okay, I'll get a good amount of damage. I'm like, he could technically, I guess, be scarfed, but I doubt he would. I just go around him heat. It's a pretty safe switch. I don't even think he has, like, the freest switch of his life in the lantern. I just decided to click will o because, like, figuring you're burning anything would be kind of nice. Um, and then I decide to go into Shaman, because I'm AV and could literally take anything. He decides to Toxic, which is fine, because, of course... Um, what's it called? Because, of course, I have Nacho here. I decided now to click, I think, Seed Flare. Bam, resisted. Get the Spin Death Drop. I'm Life Orb, actually. Oh, I'm so stupid. What? I'm Life Orb. Oh, yeah, I'm offensive, I guess. He clicks Protect. I'm like, okay, well. Screw you. No, no, no. I think I've sent this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm offensive. But I just decide to go back into Rotom Heat. As he goes Katana, I could live any hit, so I just stay in and click Overheat. Oh, no, I don't. I go Jirachi. Huh. I just clicked Zen Head, but I'm hoping for the flinch. We, of course, do not get the flinch. What is it? 40%? Something like that. He goes into the little mark, and I'm like, oh, great. I'll just go Salamence, because I have Intimidate. As he clicks the knockoff, knocks off my AV, and gets to Poison Touch. And then at this point, I'm like, oh, great. Okay. Poison Touch. Yay. <sighs> so now I click Flamethrower. Predicting for the Kartana to switch in. I don't catch the Kartana, but I do get this Bronzong and I kill it with Crunch the next turn. It is Culberberry, but it doesn't really matter because it's at 3%. Um, at this point, the poison is really sucking. As he goes into the Sabu Finny, I decide to switch into Shaman because my Shaman kind of beats this thing as he clicks Moonblast. Gets the special attack drop because, you know, why would Hex be on my side ever? Clicks me about again as I click send this just gets another special attack drop. Because again, why would hacks ever be on my side? I just did the face palm emoji at this point. I'm just like giving up on life. I just go back into settlements knowing I could live one hit because of the intimidate. He clicks knock off again. Again, the poison touch really sucks. Because now no matter what happens, I'm going down this turn. He stays in. As I get a decently big hit, clicks poison jab. <sighs> Just not going. Right now, this game is not going the way I really want it to at all. I mean, I really, I couldn't expect much from a team I built in, like, the Fireman. He goes shout out to me. He only does 17%. I'm like, okay, whatever. I click like Scissor. Take it out. Nice. At this point, he goes into the Kartana. It, it reveals he is, in fact, Scarf. As I click U-turn, he's Scarf in the knockoff. I go Rotom Heat, knowing I could live any hit. As he goes back into that annoying lantern. 
I click overheat, resisted, get the special attack drop. I go back into my shaman once again because my shaman's kind of just lit. Um, as he goes into the Zygarde and I'm HP Ice Shaman, so I click it, he lives on 11%. He, as he clicks Outrage, which kills me, so at this point I'm like, okay, he's offensive, probably banded. I go into the B-Gel, knowing I outspeed. I click U-Turn. I believe I decide to go into the Jirachi. Nope, like Nick Dusk. So I guess I'm basically... As he goes into uh, the top of Finny, at this point, I'm like, I'm just going to click Stone Edge. Hope to weaken the thing, I get 30%, you know, high crit chance, but, you know. Again, White Hacks be on my side. He clicks Surf. If the left use, I go into Mega Beagle. He clicks Protect. Click U-Turn. At this point, I'm like, okay, you're probably going to go Kratana, because why would you not? So I click U-Turn again, because Poison Jab was a very clear play. He, for some reason, stays in, which, again, I just don't understand. I think I over-predict. I think I just, my problem is, I over I, like, I think my opponents, I over, I play myself, basically. I think more my opponents than my, I think more about my, me than my opponents, like, like my opponents don't think, I think I had more than my opponents, kind of, against myself. So, I guess, yeah, I just played myself. Uh, he goes in the Kartana. As I click Iron Head. Am I Scarf? I am Scarf, but he outspeeds me. Because, uh, he's Scarf too. And he's Scarf into Nogoff, so at this point I have to go run him Heat. At this point, I just gotta make a play, so I double out into the Mega BGL. I say GG, because there's no way of me winning, though, so I click Poison Jab right here, because I'm like, yeah, whatever. Hopefully he stays in the sun. But at this point, he could just go Katana and cut no one. Because I can't even touch him, his Lantern. Because my other moves are Hidden Power, Ice, and Ronum Heat. Because I was Hidden Power, Ice, and the Shucka Berry, or whatever it's called. Shucka, yeah, to live from the road, yeah. So I just click Overheat, and at this point, I click Thunderbolt. I know this thing is Volt Absorb, but I'm like, whatever, I can't touch it anyway. Why not just click Thunderbolt? <sighs> and we lose. Um, so, first of all, that game was way too close for the fact that I was in Disney and had no time to build. I think we played very well. Also, Hex was definitely not on my side in this game. I was really hoping that my uh, terrible luck wouldn't really carry over to this league. But now it's looking like it might because, yeah. Two spadef drops, freaking poison touch. Uh, I just got special attack drop. Yeah, I just got screwed over this game, um. I went into the game thinking I was going to lose because I didn't really get have time to build. I didn't really. But I didn't want to take the forfeit loss either because uh, I felt that was cheap. Don't blame Tapu, by the way. I should have planned for the vacation. Well, I knew I had the vacation, but I was hoping we could postpone the match. But he was busy. Obviously, he has a life. I don't blame him for that. So it's fine. It's fine. We're still 2-1. and one. We're still doing really well. Um, next week we're actually against Mon a Mono Flying team, so hopefully we can win. He's lost every week, but no, my luck will get hacked out and lose. Um, check out Tabu Ario. he played very well though, um, hope y'all enjoyed, and until next time, my puffer people, stay puffed.